I have a strategy for getting these pictures. You can't sit at your desk and look at the ceiling and get the cards. You have to go out there. First of all, it's like the Old West. Shoot first and then see what you got afterwards. There's always people that work for spy photo organizations that are trying to get pictures of our products beforehand. So it is a game of cat and mouse. If you notice, uh, all the ID on this car is gone. We're hiding various features around the headlights. We're covering up feature lines on the hood, as well as on the uh, deck lid or the trunk. And look at the powerful shape around here and here. The uh, tail lights are covered up. They don't want you to see that. We try to hide all key feature lines that design has that they want to hide, make sure that it is not captured on film. As you can see behind me, there's a fully finished Malibu that's camouflaged. And from this point, the vehicle will go out to Milford to our proving grounds for other various engineering testing. I know the Milford proving ground quite well. I've told drivers in the past, when you drive down to North South straightaway over on the other side, please smile because your picture will, will probably be taken. A lot of times the camels are black and white at this stage of our process a lot of our cars are actually white when the pictures are taken from afar they throw off feature lines so you can't grill you can't get a true feel for what the product is and what the key feature lines of the product is that's why we usually use black and white you see black and white driving down the street everybody's looking at it it's just supposed to hide the car or say here I am I'm new take my picture a lot of times they've had different pictures that actually hit the internet and they were dead wrong on the type of vehicle that it was so that shows us that the camouflage is actually working well if if I was playing basketball and I shot a three-pointer and I missed well I'm wrong well I'll go back the next time of course I'm trying to sell it as one thing and if it isn't exactly what I'm selling then I feel a little guilty but not too much as long as I get the check it's all right if I could turn around now and get down on one knee and shoot this three-quarter front side, maybe a little more of the side, and get all four wheels under, so I can see them underneath. That's a good shot. I've written a book called Car Spy, and on the cover is a Corvette, and it shows everything I told you about what makes a good shot. Car Spy, out in August.